What are you eating for dinner? Meat. Fickle! Eco-friendly for the win. Yes! What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you a video regarding the WWE Daniel Bryan Eco-Friendly Championship Replica Belt. Now, as many of you may have seen, WWE have recently dropped the official replica for this very championship. The Eco-Friendly Belt debuted by Daniel Bryan in January. And what it is, is a pile of crap. If I'm honest with you, WWE going back to their Figures Inc. days, uh, Figures Toy Company days, of their replica belts being incredibly inaccurate and incredibly shit. And I 100% say to all of you, do not buy it. It's advertised for $400, which is an absolute rip-off for what it is, considering it's nothing like the real thing. And you should use my video tutorial, thank you for practically 50k views, to make your own version of the Daniel Bryan Championship much more easy. Mine, although it isn't three dimensional on the main plate and it's just like a bit of like, you know, paper, um, mine is much better and much more accurate looks wise to the real one used by Daniel Bryan on TV. Obviously in the YouTube video I didn't have this but I have now added, uh, I used Citadel paint, acrylic paint flesh tone to actually buff off the sides. So these are actually like the lighting doesn't do it justice, but these are the exact same colour as the main plate. So that helps it out. And what we're going to be doing now is I'm going to be showing you various pictures of the real eco-friendly championship and the replica belt made by WWE, just to show you how inaccurate it is. So starting things off, guys, we have the main plate. Now, this main plate is incredibly inaccurate. If you look at the pictures of the real championship, so first off we're going to start off with the main WWE logo. This is absolutely fine, the W part. However, the swoosh underneath it, they have filled out with squared stones and it's been smoothed off and it looks nothing like the real one. Now, showing you the picture of my championship right here, if you look at it, do these look like squares to you? No, they're different shaped stones. They're not all squared. Now, that's just the main W. The main actual plate where it says World Heavyweight and that, that looks okay, that's fine. But then you move on to the jewels. Now, WWE have literally got a block of white plastic. Looks like they've put some little lines in it and glued it on. The stones on it, like they should be in this one, I'm gonna be showing you comparison photos between the real one and the replica. Unlike the real one, it's just a block. They're not even individual stones put on. Now. Arguably, the real ones doesn't have, like, it doesn't look like they have stones on the real one. It looks like raised bits of wood that they've painted white. But on side plates and stuff, it like, Daniel Bryan has had missing stones. So they are stones, but they're made to look like they're part of the plate. This one, this replica, literally looks like a block of plastic stuck on. The ends, it, it doesn't even go to the end. It literally, there's just a blank bit of wood than the bars of the white, which is just wrong. So that is the whole way through the belt on the side plates as well. All of the white jewels are just blocks of plastic that look trash. That's the main stones. Then we get onto the corner gems. They aren't meant to be actual gems. They are also the little bits of stone that you see in the corner, not blue Gems, they literally have used the same gems that they would use on a normal replica, the metal ones. They're not meant to be that, they're meant to be stone. And it's just such a rip-off because for $400 they are charging you for a belt that looks nothing like the real one. That's just the main plate I've got into. Now let's move on to the side plates. Okay, so now we get onto the side plates. This is where they got really lazy, which has really annoyed me. These side plates are meant to be literally full of them little different shaped stones. They look like little flints. Like if you was to go to the garden centre or something or a garden store and go and buy some flint to put on your driveway, that's what they look like. They're all different shapes. They're all different colours. That's how it's meant to be. The side plates they've put on the replica have squares on the edges, the little plastic squares, 
and the rest of it's blank. It's got the Daniel Bryan side disc and there's nothing filling in the gaps. They've literally, and that's the thing, these aren't even stones. Fair enough, they've used the shitty block plastic again where for this bit, but then they've used this same block plastic for this bit and they've literally just done it like that. That is wrong. That is not how it's meant to look at all. Comparison photo of the side plates. You can see this one, the real one, is much more full. The other one, the WWE replica, looks like what they would put on the Mattel toy version. It, there's no way you should pay $400, £338 for this. It's an absolute rip-off. And that's just the main plates. Now we're going to move on to the other aspects of it. The sidebars. The sidebars, what can you expect? They're sidebars. They're literally just the bars on the side. They've done them fine. There's no difference there. You can't really tell a difference. They may be a bit more flat. Obviously, no one has actually, as of this recording, I've looked, I haven't actually found a video review going fully in depth of the real replica belt of this. Um, and if you see, if I show you the WWE Championship replica belt, you can see on the sidebars for these, that they are very flat in comparison to the actual real TV used championship. And I can't tell from the images on WWE.com whether they've done that with the Daniel Bryan eco-friendly belt, but they look like they're as thick as the main plate. So that is a plus, that's the, literally the only plus. But other than that, we move on to the final aspect of it, the strap. Now the strap is said on WWEshop.com that it, it is made out of burlap, which is a Hessian style material the exact same material that I have used on mine. And no doubt about it, it's probably got an inlay as well. Uh, I can't imagine them doing just a straight up Hessian uh, burlap strap because it would be floppy as all hell. Um, like too floppy, like mine obviously has a cardboard inlay and it's floppy how you would want it. This, without it, it would literally just flop. There's no like weight there whatsoever and it's listed to weigh only 3.5 pounds which means it doesn't weigh anything for a replica belt anyway considering i believe the wwe spinner belt weighs 10 pounds so all in all if wwe don't stop and discontinue this replica and release a better version ladies and gents there is no hope you just need to make one or buy one from someone like me. Uh, sooner or later, when I get free time, hopefully when I finish college, I will be making these WWE replica belts. I will make a few of them. I don't know how many, and I will probably list them on eBay, depending on how long they take. That's the thing, the materials won't matter too much, but it's the amount of like hours it's gonna take uh, for me and my dad to both do it. Obviously, dad will have to do it in his own time, which means I will need to be paying him as well. So I'll probably list these for around about hundred pounds at a push may be negotiable um, obviously if it takes like if we can do it quicker than we did with this one I'll list it for cheaper but would you rather pay a hundred pounds for a replica belt that's a bit flat that's you know flat but looks exactly like the real one to the act to the point exactly the same with the exact same strap and everything or pay £400 for something that looks like Mattel would put to Toys R Us. It's up to you guys. But this strap looks okay. The backing of it is the leather. It's obviously got Velcro on it, which means they should have lowered the price anyway for the Velcro because it's much easier to buy and distribute to people than it is putting snaps on the belt. But WWE are literally just hoping that these are gonna sell and they shouldn't. I advise all of you out there to not buy one of these because it's not worth it. The big thing that they could have saved this championship with, which they haven't, is the side plates. If they added screws on the back for you to be able to change out these Daniel Bryan side plates and put your metal ones in, even though it would look ridiculous, it would have been something quite cool. People could have put the yes, yes, yes side plates on these. They could have put Seth Rollins side plates, Roman Reigns, Triple H, you name it. They could have put their own custom side plates on this championship. But WWE didn't do that because they're saving as much money as they can to earn as much money as they can and it's not going to work. So if you haven't already, please be sure to watch how to make this Daniel Bryan Championship. Do not waste your money on them. Children out there, if you're watching this, don't want this replica. It's not worth it. It's trash. 
Get your mum and dad and try and get them to help you make your own. It will be much more worth your time and they will and they will appreciate it much more because you're not spending $400 on a bit of trashy wood. So, that was my little review, ladies and gents. Obviously, I don't have the hands-on replica. This is just first impressions I get from seeing the photos released by WWE. I do hope you enjoyed this video, but 100% do not buy this championship, at least not yet, and, they, and don't buy it until they make a better, more accurate version. Make one for yourself. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.